wanted, but it was just a seven point ball game. Uh, I guess what happened in the second half there for, for things to get away from it? Uh, we're, we're pretty disappointed in one through 14 tonight. Um, you know, I had a great crowd. Um, understanding how hard the SEC is, understanding the competitive nature, understanding the size, understanding the physicality, understanding the will to win. Uh, give Auburn a ton of credit. They came in here, they kicked our butts. Um, I mean, that's quite obvious. Um, this uh, team has not resembled what we built the last four years from a competitive standpoint, from a defensive standpoint, from a loose ball getting standpoint. Um, so what are we going to do? We got to try to figure it out as much as we can. Um, guys got opportunities and didn't seize the opportunities. Um, 165 passes when our goal is 200. Um, again, we built something that I thought was uh, really special, and uh, you know this this group of guys has not um, carried on the tradition, and uh, so we we've got to try to continue to get as, be as best we can with the group that we have right now. Buzz, I know everybody ended up playing, but rotation-wise, it looked like you tried to drill it down a bit, especially the first half. Was there anything positive in a game like this, if at least the first 20 minutes or first 16 minutes that you saw from drilling it down a bit? Yeah, I mean, I thought we played good, Kevin, in the first half. Um, not good, but we played you know, decent enough to give ourselves a chance. I did not play the end of the first half very well at all. Um, just the, uh, the, com the uh, competitive fiber, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it wasn't there for 40 minutes. Chris, follow up on that. Did you feel like you guys settled maybe even early, too much threes and not attacking and trying yeah, to I mean, put we, pressure on the rim? We talked about that over and over, that they, you know, they're, they're a team that will put you on the foul line. Um, you know, they do give up uh, rim shots, although they're great rim protectors. Um, again, I thought we played pretty good, pretty decent, okay, whatever word you want to say, survived the first 16 minutes. And then, and then after that, it was, you know, I mean, um, I mean, I've coached a long time. I don't remember a home game like this ever um, since I've been coaching, whether it's the minor leagues or whatever. I, I, we had people that paid good money to come to the game. We had people that drove far. We had people that, you know, it's basically a, 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 a a filled up building, um, you know. Coach, you mentioned just there the close to the first half. I think that's happened a few times this year where it's really good the first 16 and then maybe the last four. Is there something going on there? Can you put your finger on something there? Uh, understanding the importance, Hutch, it's, it's been addressed not a little bit, a lot. Um, you know, some it, it's winning, you know, like, um, you know, are, are you used to winning? Is winning a part of? Uh, your DNA, do you understand getting on the floor for a loose ball the last two minutes of a half become really important? They got, they, they meaning Auburn, they got a lot of guys with some experience that have won a lot of games. And um, I thought that their guys like Jalen Williams played really well. I thought Johnny Broom, I thought we did a great job on him in the first half. And I thought the second half, he was just totally dominant. It looked like we didn't want any part of guarding him whatsoever. Um, some of the plus minuses on our team, I've never seen some of those like that in, in the minutes that guys played. So um, as a competitor, disappointed, I, I really don't know what else to say other than the fact that, um, you know, practice competitive nature and games become two different things. You mentioned several issues there at the, at the beginning. Are those things that you believe and are confident that can be fixed here moving forward? How would I know? All I know is I got to try to talk about them and address them. I mean. Uh, Eric, their paint points were, they, they were really dominant in the paint. What, what, what was your take on that? I just, I didn't think we had enough. I mean, paint points come in two ways, Bob. They come off dribble drives and they come off post-ups. They hurt us in both, you know. Um, I'll go all the way back to year one here. I mean, that group understood that we had to guard the three. And, you know, we go to LSU and lose 28 to one on the glass or whatever offensive, and we still give ourselves a chance to win because they understood. Um, this group does not understand what identity on either side of the ball. So we have to, back to Hutch's question, we got to try to just figure it out and keep talking about it. Whether it gets solved or not, I don't know. We had a lot of great wins here. I'm sure you're going to have a lot more, but today was the most lopsided loss Arkansas has had in, in this building. I mean, how, with your 
experience and all the winning you've done, how, how tough is that? To Ever play? or during my tenure? No, e ever. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty bold statement. You know what I mean? It's, and it's factual. Um, so I don't know what it means to that locker room. I know what it means to me. I know the history of this program. Uh, I have incredible respect for everybody that's coached here, everybody that's played here. Um, that's a wow statement. And then number 10, I think it was, I think he's number 10, Matt Man Baker Manzara, pretty good player, but I think he was averaging eight or nine coming in, and he went off for 14 in the first half. What, how big an impact did he have? What, what, what was your Yeah, I mean, was it addressed that on the, uh, on the right wing, they run a pick and roll for him to get, get to the middle and shoot his pull-up jump shot? Yeah, it was addressed about 100 times. But he still got to a sweet spot, and I thought he played really hard. I thought he played really aggressive. Um, You've spoken a lot about the defense so far. I'm just worried, I'm wondering where do you, in your mind did the offense kind of get stuck in the mud and how much of that maybe transpires from the struggles that you guys had defensively? Yeah, I mean, I certainly think that defensively, if you can create some offense, that makes it a little bit better on the other side of the ball. We were bad on both sides of the ball. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming the 165 passes is, is an all-time low since I've been here too. And, you know, you, you keep Broom scoreless in the first half. Um, is was there any concern at halftime? Like you know, we're we're down by seven, and he's you know he hasn't really gotten going. And just how maybe deflating is it that their bench was able to kind of be just so so impactful? Their bench today? is impactful every night. Um, so no, I mean we never talked about Broom having zero points, and and what are we going to do if he has? I mean. <laughs> It, it just follow the game plan and follow the blue, blueprint of what we did the first half, and and maybe the results would have been different in the second half. Their transition game, even early when the game was close, seemed to really kind of help them when it was a bit of a grind. And I know Arkansas has struggled this year some in transition. D, what is going on there? Do you see as far Kevin, as just guys not getting back and balancing the everywhere floor? everywhere defensively. We've struggled on pick and rolls. Your shot selection has to do with your transition defense. So. I mean, when you lose by 30, I mean, I could, we could go all the way around the room and each of you could pick a different area and you would all be right. <laughs> we stunk in all areas. I mean, I don't know. I mean, transition defense. What about Johnny Broom in the second? I mean, I can go on and on. Yeah, we stunk. What, I mean, and we got to get a lot better to even survive in this league. We got to get a lot better. We got to be a lot more competitive. So with that, I will say you guys all saw how poorly we played and there's a million things we could discuss but we stunk in all those areas.